man has a thirst. A man does not drink for a day in the night. Boy could make a friend. I always imagined myself doing something much worse. Digging latrine pits at the end of the world. I can't imagine anything much worse. You lack imagination. I'd like to speak with the mountain. I'm sure he would enjoy speaking with you. You may not enjoy it as much as you think you would. This baby killed Coronathan. It's a lovely gown. Do you think so? I can't decide how I like it better. Like this? Or like this? Are you afraid, Onion Knight? Some was told me the night is dark and full of terrors. Behold the sun of fire, behold all hail the warrior of the night, the warrior of fire. I f***ed up. <laughs> Valar Mugalis. Valar Mugulis. My mother was a whore. I come from nothing. And before long, I'll return to nothing. Let me kill this man for you. All my life, men like you've sneered at me. And all my life, I've been knocking men like you into the dust. You know nothing, John Snow. Oh, what if I should never find someone so incomparably suitable and wealthy? What if he's suitable, but you don't feel yourself with him? Dido, he understood me. And whenever, whenever he looked at me, I somehow felt right in this world. I am certain his affections were growing for me, and I am certain of my own love. Oh, Beth, stop it. It, it. it is not love. Dido, you stop it, won't you? You know no more of love than I myself, do you? Do you? No. And what right do you have to name what I am feeling than me? I've heard nothing from him since the ball, Dido. I was certain an announcement would be made any day. But he meant it this time. But then he is not a man of his word. I will help you find the kindest, most wonderful of husbands, and I shall ask Papa to use a portion of my inheritance for your dowry. You would do that for me? Bet anything for you. I, I have been of the mind state these last few days that it is my little means that has delayed James in making his approach. I think you may be right. <laughs> well, then I cannot thank you enough. Oh, I will tell Papa to write immediately to Lady Ashford. No. <laughs> no? James Ashford is not kind. He's not a man to give your life or your diary to. Then your gift comes with conditions. No. What then? Well, I'm trying, I'm trying to make you see he is not appropriate. Appropriate? The brother of the man you are to marry is not appropriate for me. He doesn't desire you, Bat. At least even if he does, you, you would regret such a mistake. He, he laid his hands on me, Beth, in the most ungentlemanly fashion. Why should you say such a thing? The assembly room he, he hurt me. You are a liar! Why, why would I lie to you? I don't know. But can't you see? He would never touch you. Beth? You are beneath him. I, I'm beneath him? Yes, you are. You... What, what? Tell me, what am I, Beth? You are illegitimate. Have you never wondered why you are not permitted to eat with our guests? You'd better put on something pretty. We're travelling in the Queen's wheelhouse today. I'm not. I'm wearing a chain of white hair. We're going to rubies. Rubies? What rubies? Ravens rubies, stupid. They flew with his armor when King Robert killed him. You can't look for rubies. The Queen invited us both. Well, I didn't want to go. 
The grow house doesn't even have windows, so you can't see a thing. What would you want to see? It's all just fields and farms. Oh, this is not. If you came with us sometimes, you'd see. I hate riding. All it does is get you soiled and dusty and sore. Anyway, you're not supposed to leave the column anymore. Father said so. Father said so. You have to come with me. There'll be lemon cakes and tea. Oh, why would you want to ride a smelly old horse anyway when you and get all sore and sweaty? And you could recline on feather pillows and drink tea with the Queen. I didn't like the Queen. Oh, I see. You'd rather spend all your time with that butcher's boy. Harrier, he sleeps in the meat wagon. And he smells like a slaughtering block. It's embarrassing. Mike is my friend. We're going to live at court now. Father's going to be hand of the king and we have to act like ladies. The queen is expecting us. I don't care. I'm going out riding. Oh, God be true, Aria. Sometimes you act like such a child. I'm not a knight. I'm a spit of man and a vows. My brother's a knight. How do you think he wrote? Yeah. You know what could withstand him? <laughs> You're like one of these pretty little birds from the Summer Isles, aren't you? Pretty little bird reciting all these pretty little things you've been taught to sing. Yeah, when you go to my room, no? no one could withstand him. Well, that boy certainly couldn't, did he? He had no business being out there. No money, no squire. His helmet didn't even fit. Do you think my brother didn't see that pretty little thing? You think Sir Gregor's lance found its way under the boy's chin all by itself? Gregor's lance goes where Gregor's lance... Look at me! Look at me! That's pretty for you, isn't it? Take a good long stare. I've noticed you staring away from me ever since we started the King's Road. Oh, spit in that, you look at me. You anything pretty to say? Hmm? How do you think it happened? Battle and torch in my face, burning tower. Oh, a dragon's, dragon's breath, eh? <laughs> I'll tell you how it happened. I was younger than you, I was six years old. There was a wood carver below the keep of my father. We were given a couple of wooden toys. I don't know what I got. I was more interested in Gregor's. It was a wooden knight. Every joint beautifully made, all painted, with strings that could move. Well, my brother was six foot tall at that time. He was already a squire. He had no use for it, so I took it. Oh, he found me by the fire at night. He didn't say a word. He picked me under his arm and stuffed me in the coals as I screamed. My father said that my bed had been set on fire. And four years later, He was knighted. He was no true knight. <laughs> no pretty bird. He was no true knight. Okay. Hi, my name's Conan Stevens. I'm seven feet tall, 210 centimeters. It's off the scale on the conversion chart that I was emailed, and I'm 140 pound, kilo, which is 310 pounds. Um, I do have a physique like a professional wrestler, because I was the Australian professional wrestling champion. Um, Jason, would you like to step in for a second, please? <coughs> Jason's 5 foot 10. What's that, 180, 175 centimetres? Yep. And 90 kilo, which is uh, 200 pounds. So uh, a big lad in his own right. But, uh, not today. <laughs> my son has started wounding and he scratched one of my life. From a rack of blood rider to Kalogo. I killed him. I killed him too. Nobody can stand before the son of my life. 
the father of the stallion who mounts this world. This one is Mago. He says, Calisi has taken his spoils, daughter of the lambs, who was his to mount. Tell me the truth on this of my life. Danny explains. Uh, this is way of war. These women are slaves now to do it as we please. It pleases me to hold them safe. If your warriors would not would mount these women, let them take them for wives. Give them places in your calisar and let them bear your sons. Does the horse breed with the sheep? The dragon feeds on horse and sheep alone. <coughs> See how fierce she grows with my son inside her. The stallion mounts the world, filling her with fire. You, Margo, hold your tongue. Find another lamb to mount. These belong to my Khaleesi. My son and stars is wounded. I scratched the moon of my life. From a rock of blood rider to Kalogo. I kill him. I kill Ogo too. No man can stand before the son of my life, the father of the stallion who mounts the world. This one is Mago. He says the Khaleesi has taken his spoils, a daughter of the lambs who was his to mount. Tell me proof on this moon of my life. Then he explains. Uh, this is way of war. These women are slaves now, to do it as he please. It pleases me to hold them safe. If your warriors would mount these women, let them take them for wives, give them places in the Kalasar, and let them bear you to your sons. Does the horse breed with the sheep? The dragon feeds on horse and sheep alike. I see how fierce she grows with my son inside her. The stallion mounts the world, giving her fire. You, Margot, hold your tongue. Find another lamb to mount. These belong to my Khaleesi. <coughs> my son of God is wounded. He is scratched the wound of my life. To my rock of blood rider, to Kaogo. I kill him. I kill Ogo too. No man can stand before the son of my life, the father of the stallion who mounts the world. This one is Mago. He says this Khaleesi has taken his spoils, a daughter of the lambs who was his to mount. Tell me truth on this moon of my life. Then he explains. Ah, this is way of war. These women are slaves now, to do it as we please. It pleases me to hold them safe. If your warriors would mount these women, let them take them for wives. Give them places in our calisar and let them bear your sons. Does the horse breed with the sheep? The dragon feeds on horse and sheep alike. <laughs> See how fierce she grows. My son inside her. The stallion mounts the world, fills her with fire. You, Margo, hold your tongue, find another lamb to mount. These belong to my Khaleesi. Yeah.